Now this is a season, you guys. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, welcome. We do movie and series reviews and monthly wrap up tier lists. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. You guys, we have made it to part four of La Casa de Papel Money Heist. That's on my last review, which was just uploaded a few days ago. I wasn't particularly here for season three. It just wasn't really my jam. I was really like, oh no, this is what happens when Netflix takes over shit. But oh, then we get, then we get part four. And then I'm like, oh yes, thank you Netflix. Ah, thank you. Uh, but thankfully we are only getting one more um, season, which is good because you know, we can only take this high so far. Uh, but before I officially do get on with my review on this, I do want to correct myself and kind of talk about a couple things that I forgot about my season three review just because season three I had seen that one like in the end of September or October and then I had made a few notes after watching it but I didn't finish my notes and so when I did my review <laughs> a couple days ago um I honestly have forgotten about the season I missed a lot of things you guys I really really did I'm not gonna point a lot but just like some major things the person I told you I died in season three did not die in season three no, I thought they died. I totally, I don't know. I clearly remember them dying, but apparently they didn't. But they died in this part, you guys. This is like the funniest thing, you guys. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, when that character got shot, and because they had already, you know, survived another shot, I was just kind of like, just, just, you know, like, get up. Like, you, you can, you can get up from this. You got up from him before. Like, you, it's just a headshot. I kind of want to tell you who died, but I won't tell you guys. Okay, a new character that I totally forgot to mention was Palermo. Now he is somebody who was friends with Berlin and the professor from prior to them doing the heist. Now they are the original like kind of trio on doing the heist for the Bank of Spain. He's very like egomaniac is what the professor likes to call him. Um, he's somebody who is very, very much in love with Berlin. Also, I forgot to tell you that um, Arturo, yes, we still have Arturo. He comes back. Wife didn't leave him after, you know, he was with, what's her face? I forgot her name. Anyway, she's now known as Stockholm. <laughs> uh, Cause I know I remember, we had to go by the cities. I don't remember her actual name, but it's Stockholm now. He manages to kind of sneak his way back inside. <laughs> <laughs> to be a hostage now, you guys. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, so that's kind of it from part three that I didn't touch base in and kind of correct myself on the death as well. We're gonna continue on with Arturo. Fucking hate him. Does he die? Can somebody please tell me if he dies at some point? I really hope Sokka would kill some. Somebody needs to kill him or like throw him off the, the roof or something. And now he's like a rapist now. He's a molester and that didn't add towards the hate on this character. And then we do have another new character, Julia aka Malina. She is uh, like an old friend of Denver and she basically is now the undercover hostage, kind of keep an eye on, you know, things that are happening within the hostage level. Because anything kind of goes out of control, then she can kind of report back or handle it um, as per comes two that was a weird sentence there at the end uh but yes we once again only get eight episodes because again netflix has its greedy little hands i mean mind you first season we got 13 and then we got 10 and then now we got eight and eight we are still of course in the bank we are apparently going to be in this bank for three seasons total uh the first one we were in the mint of spain it was only two seasons i'm very glad that we're coming to an end because you know you can only be here for so long. I don't even know where to start. I, I really don't even know. This this season had me yelling at the TV like, oh my God. It's so good, you guys, it's so good. Okay, but I don't even know where to go. Like, where do I start? Oh, I don't wanna give you spoilers all. Gandhi, um, the security guard, uh, the head security for the governor of the Bank of Spain, he actually ends up escaping from his handcuffs because of Palermo. Because at this point, Palermo, he was kind of trying to like leave the bank because he just knows that they're pretty much screwed. If you're like an assassin, if you were doing all this stuff, how did you not know that? Because even I know that. I'm always like, how would I break my thumb though to like get out of handcuffs? But I'm just like, for somebody like that, I feel like, he should have known that he could have done that. Like, I honestly kept thinking he's gonna break his thumb. 
Like, when is he going to escape? Because obviously he needs to escape at some point. So I just thought it was weird that for somebody in his position, as far as being undercover military, black ops, whatever kind of stuff that he was involved in, that he didn't know that he can break his thumb to escape the that kind of thing. And as far as character development within all these characters, also they, it continues to be really great. Uh, I don't feel like Tokyo uh, was as selfish in this one. I feel like her character actually really did grow here. Lisboa did not disappoint this season. Um, they actually did give her more to do here because if you recall, well I don't know if I told you guys, but she got um captured in part um three and now we have her being interrogated uh without like her rights being read of course because it's very corrupt uh what they're doing with these things which actually has a lot to do with how um it ends <laughs> so good you guys i i'm very very glad that they gave her more and she wasn't just like the girlfriend here that was just like in the background doing nothing sierra oh sierra she a bad bitch you guys she a bad bitch oh she be doing the government dirty there at the end it was all good like she said, fuck you. She does so dirty. They had it coming for what they were asking her to do. And she ain't about that life. Ooh, there's a whole checkmate moment there at the end too. Oh my God, it's okay. So um, my guess is she's going to join forces with the professor because of the way that it ended. I mean, I seriously doubt that's going to go into the other direction as far as turning him in because what she's already done and said. Turning him in is going to be the least of the stuff. It's just going to be like, whatever, you did that, but that's not going to really benefit you because you literally screwed us over royally. My theory is maybe a two, three, I don't know, maybe are the only ones that make it out. Uh, I don't have high hopes that every last one of them is going to make it out of this alive. Given all the deaths that we've been having, I just, I, I know of one big one. I know that of that one, but I don't know. I just, I don't see this going very well for the whole, everybody. <laughs> it, because I'm gonna give you guys way too many spoilers and I don't wanna give you guys any spoilers, but if you haven't seen La Casa de Papel, Money Heist, I definitely recommend for you to check this uh, show out because it's really, really great. Season three for me was definitely the weakest one of the bunch, uh, but season four, I think might be my favorite. Um, I think it is. If you've seen Casa de Papel, Money Heist, Part four, season four. Let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? What did you think about the death? Were you surprised? Were you expecting for that person to like just shake it off? <laughs> oh, it hurts my heart, you guys. I couldn't. <laughs> that was just like this was literally me. I you can make it out of that. Yeah, you can make it out of that. <laughs> but as a reminder, uh, part five will be a Spanish review. Well, like a Spanglish, Spanish review. We're gonna, we're gonna end it in Spanish. Like we started it in a Spanish review. We're gonna end it with the Spanish review. So just kind of want to pre-warn you guys on uh, that one. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concession. Bella, ciao. Thank <laughs> you.